Hello, men punchers. Uh, this is Fights in Tight Spaces gameplay, a tactical deck building fighting game. Uh, there's already been a free prologue demo release for this, which features the entire first mission, but we're going to play the full early access release out on February the 24th. Right, so this is by Ground Shatter and published by Mode 7. Thanks to them for giving me an early key to this. In this video, we'll play the first mission across an FTL style map of random encounters. But for a bit of spice, I'm going to use the Counter Striker deck for the first time, which is not the default. That's balanced down there. Um, this, um, this deck is a bit more defensive and thoughtful, and you also, instead of getting an emergency move card, you start with Steel Body, extra health. So let's start with this deck. After the Biker Gang Wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs, but they're back! Right, let's just skip on a bit um, to our first fight you know, on this. I say this is an FDL style map, um, random encounters and fights and things like that. So we start uh, randomly in the tattoo studio. We have a very tight space indeed. Um, this is, should be fairly straightforward. Two men's at first. Right. Okay. So let's see what we've, what we've been given. And um, some of these cards are going to be unfamiliar to me. Right, so I think I can see better from this angle. So we've got some very interesting cards that we can use tactically here. I'm going to start out by giving someone a good wallop. Punch. Right in the face. So he's down to 12 health. The other guy's to, um, got 20 health. Both their attacks are going to do me 6 damage. But now what I'm going to do, um, I've got 2 more points to spend. I'm going to um, do uh, play a couple of counter cards. First of all, the power sink, which gives me 8 block, um, but also gives me the ability to fight back when they fight me. Um, I'm also going to do the counter, which is the same, um, but it, we fight back a bit stronger. So if we do that, we've spent all our points. They're going to attack me, and I'm going to fight them back. This is already getting <laughs> annoyingly tactical, but let's, let's see. I don't take any damage, but I punch back. I don't take any damage again, and I punch back. And I've already taken him down to 1 health, and him down to 10 health. And I haven't lost a single drop of my energy. Or health. <laughs> uh, whatever. So, we can finish him off. Uh, but let's see what we've got. We've got steps. So that's a movement card. Uh, that just adds to our block. Block does not carry over to the next turn. A long counter. So this is similar to the counter one, only we can do it from a bit further away. So I could get them to attack me again and fight back, so I might just do that. Have I got any more block? I've got quick block, which doesn't cost any um, things. Hang on, let's do this. Add the quick block and add the long counter. Now, theoretically, I could actually do another bit of a kicky-poos. Um, there's actually no need, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I've got plenty of stuff left over. And then in turn... Doesn't do me any damage, and I punch him to death. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's still people left. Um, he's a fairly straightforward one, and he's just going to do a, a very simple punch. Uh, the, the enemies get more complicated, inevitably, as we go. I'm going to use a head smash, so what I'll do is I'll move over to here, and then the head smash only works if they're up against a wall or something. This is going to do 18 damage. Wow. That's nearly finished him off. He's got two health, and then I can just do a little jump kick, uh, which... Oh, bloody hell, this is... This is a really good card. 14 damage, and you can do it, but... Oh, it's got to be... Oh, we've got to be two squares away to do it. Uh, all right. Well, he's going to attack me for six. Okay, I'll block for six, and then do a little bit of damage in return. That should do the trick. Yes! Win! Victory! Right, anyway, so a free card. A uh, boring old block. Another counter card. Oh, a jab! Um, deal three damage, but you get a momentum, so it's essentially a... F oh! That's really good, actually. So it's not a very good attack, but it's actually a good utility as well. So we can go to the alleyway of the bog. I'm actually going to go to the alleyway, because I don't really do that very often. It's also it's a bit of a longer... Oh god, there's a, there's a bin. There's a big dumpster. Right, okay. Oh, this is going to get a bit tougher. There's two shooters. Ooh. And two bikers who can kick from two... Or push from two away. So at the moment we are kind of surrounded somewhat. Uh, we don't want to be where they shoot. You can use them, if you position them all very cleverly, you can use them to all finish off each other um, in a back alley. Which is, <laughs> I'm sure I've seen a film of that before. Um, so I could slip, okay, let's, um, let's move that to there. I could do with pushing him into the into the path of the bullets or something like that. Um, but I'm not used to these particular cards. So I can't use all the abilities from the balance deck. There's quite a few good movement cards in the balance deck, which I'm not sure if I'll carry over to this one. So we've got a bit of a weird set of cards here. The power sinks may be useful, but we, we can't really um, synergize that with anything. So what I think I'll do is I'll use this jump kick, because it does actually push us forwards as well. So we're now out of the shooter. Well, we're out of everyone's way, apart from this lad, who's only going to do me for five damage. And so what I could do there is just do the power sink, and so heal him. Ooh, I don't know if um, we actually... When, when we use this, I don't know if we actually give them any damage, though. I was... I was 
Hmm, I think I misread this card in the previous one. It still worked in the previous one, but... Gain one damage modifier for each incoming attack. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not quite sure exactly what this will do then. How much damage it'll do. Uh, there's not really much else. Oh, I can, I can give him a jab. Little jabby poos. Uh, which won't do a huge amount. Uh, let's put the power sink on. Um, I'm, I'm not, we've still got two points left, but I just want to see what happens here. Oh, we, oh, we can kick from two away, can't we? <laughs> Ouch. But he got shot. <laughs> For reasons. I, don't, I won't go into too much, but there's a, there's a turn order. Like, um, if you hold down alt, you can see. Um, it's going to be like the, the two maroon colour guys followed by the two red ones. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've just got myself right stuck in the middle here, haven't I? There is a card that can split people up, but I don't have that at the moment, so I might have to do a bit of pushing. I've got a free push card here, and I could use that to possibly slip away. But what I might do is I might do some countering. Because we do do some damage, don't we? He's got down to one health, so... Unfortunately, um, th those attacks are both ten, so it's, in, in total this would actually be 30 damage on me. Uh, I, I lost a bit in the last one because I wasn't really paying enough attention. Okay, I reckon if I push him, give him a bit of a shove, there we go, and then we just do a little bit of a... let's follow him. Uh, so the shooters are now shooting each other, and now we're just going to have to stack on these counters, just so we've got plenty of shielding, because we are going to be done for... Oh, so we're only going to be attacked for ten on either side. Um, so in actual fact, if, if I give myself ten block, all I really need to do... I don't actually need to put any more block on, in fact what I could just do is wall up him to death, and then it's going to be your turn, so th this should be um, some hot shooting action with any luck. Oh, hello, he came in first. However, I countered him, and then they shot each other. Okay, so that's the order. <laughs> that worked better than I expected, actually. <laughs> it was, it was gonna, always going to be good, but that went better. Uh, I did not obey the turn order. Okay, so turn order, lefty and then righty here. Um, so, what have we got? Um, we'd, we've got them down to 10 health each. So I could... Unfortunately, they've got ranged weapons, so I can't push them away from me. I'll still be in the fire. So I've got a dash card, which can get me two away. I don't have any countering or defense. Oh, I've got block. Uh, and they're shooting for 10, so that should be okay. Okay, fine. Well will do. Oh, I've got quick block as well. That's instant six for free. Snap strike. What I could, okay, here's what we'll do. Snap strike you. Keep you within range. Then a kick. I'll kick you in. Kick you into next week. There we go. Uh, and then nice little block. Yep. Water off a duck's back. And now he's very close to me. Um, head smash. Well, we can't smash him against a wall at the moment. Um, snap strike. Oh, a combo counter. Okay, that's um, yes, another retaliation thing. Give him a punch. I think is there someone gonna, someone else gonna turn up? I don't think so. Um, the head smash thing has gone up to twenty-two because we've increased our combo. My combo is at seven. That's huge. <laughs> this is a different sort of deck. I think in the in the in the balance deck, you tend not to get very high combos because you end up using them all up on various things. Anyway, um, I'm just literally just gonna do a little. I'm gonna do. Well, I might as well spend both of them. So to make sure that my block is high enough and over. He'll shoot me, I'll punch back, and we're done. And I got a five combo, so I got an extra bonus 30 quid, and I got a new card. Another block. A jolt increased combo level by two for free. I'm not really using that many combo... I'm not really spending my combo cards on anything, so I don't know. Move one tile in any direction. None of these are great. <laughs> uh, we seem to have got plenty of blocks. I'll get step because we probably don't seem to have that many movement cards. Right, off to the pub. Let's see what this brings us. So far we've only had fight tiles on that FDL map, uh, but you know, there are different ones. There's like gyms and there's health places and there's events. And now we've got... We've got oh, this, is, this is, some, suddenly becomes a lot more tricky because we have the ambassador who they're going to try to kill to some extent. And we can di like push him out of the way and punch him or whatever to do no damage, but they will they can do damage. So we've got to protect him. And the moment he's about to be shot, so we have to be a bit more thoughtful about what we do. So I can't really do much with the ambassador. He's he's going to take some damage. And these lads, the security ones, um, they'll do me for four damage, but they'll also push me one tile away. He's a biker who can kick two tiles away. Also has a push and also does six damage. So he's a bit of a prick. 
Um, but I'm not at risk from the shooter. So what I'm going to do, I think, is... First of all, I'm just going to do a bit of the old jab. Boop! That's... Oh, he pushes... Fuck. Ah. Right. Yes, I forgot. Unfortunately, the security also has auto-attack. Which means once per turn, he can... If, if, if you try to attack from where he's... Um, stand, uh, where he's facing, or if you try moving to that square, he'll automatically do his attack, which is only four damage and push, but... Ooh, I've just completely ruined what I was going to do now. I might have to just go back where I was. However, because of that card I just played, I actually gained a momentum, so... Weirdly enough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back. <laughs> this seems weird, but if I, if I do my counter moves, that gets my block up to 14, uh, which means they can't really hurt me. And I could also do a little quick strike. I could do this range one on you. And then I can soak up some damage. And because I actually put two counters on as well... Ouch! And that did him double damage. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> oh god, th th that ambassador's really... Ugh. Now, as I say, we've got to be careful here, because if we try to attack the security, he will uh, fight back with his push attack. So I might have to just slip round... Oh, I don't know what... I don't know what to do about this bloody shooter. It's... He's down to 14 health and he's attacking for 10. It's really, really quite tricky. I'm, I've got to jump. Hmm. I haven't got anything to push people around with. I might have to just go and try and kill the shooter. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have the cards for it. I've got a jump kick card, which means I can get rid of you. It gets me out of range of that. So that, that makes things a little easier. Unfortunately, the ne on the next turn, a new enemy is going to spawn. I could slip, I could do a little bit of movement, but again I'm getting away from the shooter. I don't know. I think what I'm going to have to do... Look at these block cards. Move here, and then do a little bit of a punch. Get rid of some of your health. And then a re no really point in using any of those. Oh, he's down to four health. An extra bloke. That's another... Oh, that's a biker. That's... okay. We've, got, we've still got this bloody security. So the, at least the ambassador is no longer at in, instant risk. Uh, what have I got? Oh, a head smash. I wonder if I can give him a shove. Push over there. Step, and then smash. Okay. Unfortunately, the security's gonna... Uh, the security's gonna do something before I do that. I could... Or I could try... And, oh, hmm. Okay. The push is for free. I don't know if a push. Hmm. I, sp I think it'll still be activate the security guard. Most alarming. Uh, unfortunately, the head smash only works if you push them against a wall. I don't think there's a huge amount I can do here. So what I'm going to do is play my defensive. So when he does attack me by pushing me, um, it's not going to be the end of the world. I can't use my head smash. I can do a little qu um, quick kicky poos. I'll kick him. Oh! Uh. Uh, no. Oh. Turns out there is push damage, which I've never seen before. Sorry, lad. Oh well. I mean, I, I think I can still complete the, the mission. I just don't get the bonus. So yes, there's a lot to think about in this. What I'm going to do, I think, is push him to there. And hopefully, he'll continue to shoot. There we go. So that's the um, that lad gone, and now I'm surrounded by uh, another biker and a pistol thug. Uh, that biker's going to move first, but I could still hopefully try to get some hot shooting action going on here. There's a long counter though. Hmm. We haven't got any. Oh, here's what we'll do. <laughs> oh, got him down to seven health. Uh, we'll have to just step out of the way shortly, but we strike. Boop. And we've just got you to deal with. You're going to shoot for 10. And let's do a long counter. So, yeah, that's right. Shoot me. Why don't you? Can't hurt me. Ha! Oh, then you. And yes, here we go. Um, we can't do a jump kick, irritatingly, but what we can do... Reverse. And then do a jump kick. Perfect. On the floor with you. Did not protect the ambassador, which means we do not get the health back, but that's it. But we also did that quite quickly in six turns, so we get some cash, which is all very nice. Let's see. Focus is good, a free momentum. Separate, that's actually quite cool, because this was uh, alluding to earlier. You can, if you get surrounded, that 
get gives you some breathing space. Nerve strike's quite fun, but let's go with separate, because I do like that. And hey-ho, look, we've actually got a medical facility. Um, we have 140 quid. That's a lot of money. It's more than I usually have by this point. Um, I'm going to heal... No, I'm going to increase maximum health and heal. That gets us up to 50, 50, 50. Lots of, lots of 50s there, which is all very nice. Uh, oh, oh, the alternative path would have taken us via a gym, uh, which gains new abilities, upgrades existing abilities, or removes cards. Uh, that's all cash-based. Anyway, we're, we're coming to another pub. Here we go. The craft beer company. <laughs> Here on Leather Lane. Oh, okay, so now we've got some... Ooh. He's got lots of shields, and unfortunately... So is that lad over there. I say shield and block interchangeably here. So the welder guy, um, he's a, he can charge, he can do 10 damage, and he gets 12 block at the start of every turn. So every time you want to damage him, you have to get rid of 12 block. So he's uh, an absolute twat, <laughs> essentially. So I think this one, I'm just going to move over to you and deal with you to start with. The Lewis Snap Strike, which is only 4 damage, but it also increases damage for all attacks this turn. So give him a bit of the elbow. Uh, he's down to 14. Uh, I could do a quick strike, and maybe even a separate, even though there's no point. I mean, I mean it's not, but there's no tactical advantage to that, but it might just kill him anyway. For how much damage? Five damage, and he's... Oh, that's okay. Yep, I can actually finish him off. See you later, tire iron guy. And that's all I can do. They exchange blows, because I got out of the way. And now, yeah, there's a thing where, yeah, the, the shooter is now technically shooting at the um, the welder. Uh, which I think is going to happen. I think, but unfortunately, it depends on turn order or whatever. I think if, so long as he's actually got a something in his sights at the start of the turn, I think he will carry through with that. So I think so long as... Well, if, the, if the welder doesn't move, he's not going to have a great time, is he? Uh, we any, we haven't, we're, not really, we're not getting many counter cards this time around. Uh, we could jump kick. That needs to be done from two away. I could step back and then do it, but then I'll be back where I started. I could have a block. I could actually do a bit of block action because this is we, the incoming damage is eighteen, and um, we can block for eighteen. That would not be a bad thing, I reckon. So, boop and boop. So this will do some retaliatory damage. I can't. I can't do the jump kick. No, that's to be a range of two. Pushing at the, at the moment is probably pointless. Let's see if this is, this does anything. Oh, not if it was counter. I thought I'd countered them. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> that was a bit of a pointless move then. Uh, head smash women might be nice. Um. Again, I've got plenty of countering going on here, so that should work. This time. Also get some momentum out of this. Oh, they've got block, haven't they? Okay, well, let's jab him in the balls. And we can't head smash. Double counter. Oh, this is more like it. Yep, there we go. Although, having said that... Ooh. Yeah, that's worked. That's worked. Because we're doing two damage, we're actually getting their shield down. So we've actually done some serious good work there. Not bad at all. Right, now I've got the shooter and the welder. This should be okay, because we've got slip. Which is handy. A quick kick, that's only one away. Hmm... There's no point in going for the welder because we've got very little attack cards here at all. You haven't got any block at all, so it might be worth me slipping around the side. Um, stepping over here. So we haven't got a, um, a head smash there. And just do a little quick kick in, in the shoulder. There we go. Um, not much else we can do. Right. Okay. Fine. So you're down to ten. Oh, now we've got the head smash. Um, again, you can only attack for 10, so I mean, a long counter might um, do the trick. I'm just going to double check this push thing. Does it do any damage? Or Because it, the ambassador got hurt at one time, but hmm, apparently not this time. Well, I could have pushed, might be able to push someone into a wall this turn. Long counter. And just in case, block. <laughs> Don't need to, but. There we go. Retaliatory damage of 10, which finished him off. Um. Well, so he's, he can attack all those three spaces, including, weirdly, the, the skull exits, which I'm not 100% sure what that actually does. Right, anyway, so he's going to attack for 10, possibly. I might have to step back and give him a kick. But we'll start with by giving him a jab, I guess. Which gets his not, shield down not very much, admittedly. Um, we'll slip back. 
Do a little jump kick. That did some damage. He's down to 25. And... So, block. Yeah, we'll... we'll the rest can be just block. We've got enough points to spend there. And then she'll try and attack us and we'll be able to... Oh, I've got, ooh, I'm not sure if I just... Any of those were counters again, but... Eh, whatever. Yes, they are. Yes, good. And he's dead. Sorted. And we're done with eight, eight turns. And we've got ourselves a new card. Panic Dash. Discard a random card. But these are all upgraded cards. Hang on. Attack for 10, or move two tiles. That's nice. And Hammer Fist, deal 8 plus 2 damage per combo level. I do seem to be getting good combo levels. Possibly. I haven't really been paying attention. Let's go for Hammer Fist. Um, so we can go to the bog, but that's actually a fight. Or we can go for a random event. During your routine medical checkup, the agency doctor offers you a new treatment. Oh, this is really good. But pointless, because we've got full health. And haven't got any long-term injuries either. Oh. Well, yes, that's the, we didn't have an old wound. You can get you can pick those up. They're basically like um, uh, unplayable cards that you get. Um, okay, so next we've got a, another choice. We could have a fight. Or we could, let's go to the gym. We've got 110 quid to spend. Um, we could upgrade cards or buy new cards. Um, none of those seem particularly that interesting. Although that's that might be quite yeah. Okay, let's go for that. I might, I might actually have that panic deck. Plus, let's upgrade something. We've still got quite a bit of cash. Um, let's have a look. We can, we can afford a, some of these, but not all of them. Uh, let's have a look. Um, we we'll have the quick block, because it might, might be nice. Oh yeah, double. Double defense. Yeah, let's have that. And um, we can also afford another one. Upgrade. That's a bit piss. Let's make that so it's a free movement point thing. Good. That's just improved things. Excellent stuff. And onwards to the alleyway. Still got quite a way, a way to go here. So this is another ambassador level. So let's start out by separating things out of it. Oh, that's fine. I should have put the defense on. I was, I was trying to put the, I forgot to put the quick block on. God damn it. Anyway, let's jump kick that guy. Range of two. And I'm back. I'm back in your face. A little quick kick. Get away from me. And that's pretty much it. We're not actually in range of anyone's attack. I could use I could move for free if I wanted. Now, is there anywhere else I'd really want to go? Not really. Let's stay here. Hello. Hello. Right, that's fine. So we're at risk of attacking from two. That like that lad didn't even move. And that's fine. Ooh! Hammer fist. We got up to four combos, so this is this is a meaty old punch for sixteen. We can take that guy out. Let's just do that before he starts pushing me back. A new guy is going to turn up on the right hand side with that red arrow, so we've got to be careful. Discard a random card or move up to and move up to two tiles. Ooh. So we could do a bit of countering here. We've got two to spend. Um, let's do just do those. There we go. And backwards. Backwards. Almost killed him. Down to three. Ugh. Anyway, you're coming over here now. Not much tactical stuff we can do here particularly. Snap strike. Oh, he's a pusher, isn't he, though? So security is going to try and get us if we try and do any attacking, which is less than ideal. I could move. What do we have? I'd like to use a head smash. If we can just move to here. Unfortunately, I can't. Because that would be a three movement points. Nothing particularly tasty we can do here, so I'm just going to move over there and do a snap strike on him. Finish him off. Uh, and then nothing else I can really do here. So let's in turn. Where are you going? Unfortunately, I've lost my head smash. So he's still going to do his security thing. I, I could give him a shove, and then he'd be out of my jurisdiction. Which would be handy. Or I could slip round slip round him and then give him a strike from the side. Or I could use my combo counter. But no, there's no real good um, there's no good retaliation cards here. So I think slip round the side. Quick strike. Yeah, you can't push me. A little jabby poos. Which gives me an extra momentum. So I'm up to three momentum points. I can still do whatever I wanted here. Um, 
Six block is not great. Oh, it is a retaliatory card, isn't it? So, hmm. Get out of the way. <laughs> not really much point in using this, but I'll do it anyway. Nobody can actually hurt me. Right. So, again, we've got the pushy lad. Unless, unless I can push him back first. Um, I can't. Oh, I can. I can quick kick. Get rid of him. There we go. So he's a bit further away, and now I can deal with you, I guess. Uh, although, again, there's not a huge amount of... Hmm. Well, if we do that first, I'll increase damage so we can do the quick strike. And that'll get you down to 12. Um. Oh, these are both cost one. I've only got one left. Um, let's see. You're attacking for eight, and that's only six blocks, so I think I shall step over there. <laughs> They're not even going after the ambassador this time. Handily. Ooh, I'll, I'll get pushed into the ambassador. Ooh, that's not that's not ideal. Oh, I'd like to use the head smash. Can I push him? Is there anyone who can... I haven't got any pushy cards. Which is irritating. I may have to slip around there. Oh, I've got no good cards here. Can't head smash. I can't attack. Unless I move away, which I can't do. Hmm. Have I actually put him in danger? I don't think so, no. There's nothing I can do. Right. Oh, hammer fist. I can actually... Do My combo's at nine. Holy shit. That's a lot. Right, get rid of him. <laughs> That's a fearsome old attack. A long gold counter. He attacks for 8 and has got 12, so here's what we'll do. Give him a punch. And then we'll use a long counter. So when he attacks, I won't get hurt, but he'll get punched to death. Oh, he's down to 1 health. I tell a lie. Have I really got no? Oh, this is the only attack card I've got. Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Did not do it within 6 turns, but I did protect the ambassador this time. Did I lose any health? I'm not sure if I did. Oh, Virtuous Circle. If a combo is over five, gain three combo. Ooh, okay. Well, no. Let's go for, let's go for Hook Kick. That looks like a good kicky thing. Yeah, there's a long way to go yet. I'm still on full health. Okay, so the video's been going on for quite a long time now, and it's some, we're doing far, far better than I expected. I thought we might be dead by now, but I think that gives you a good taste of what the um, fights in tight spaces is all about. And there's a free prologue demo. And what I'll do is I think um, we'll stop here, but I'm going to film the rest of the run. Um, so if you do want to see the rest of this run, uh, I'm going to put this um, put that video out on, on Patreon. Um, so do check that out if you can. I'll put the link on the screen and in the description. Um, and if you support me on a certain level, um, you'll get access to all the bonus videos, not just this one, but all of them. Um, or you can just drop, drop me a tip on buying me a coffee if you just want to support the channel. Just say, just say like, thank you for the videos and all that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, go check this out. I really like it. It's great. Uh, bye for now.